Hi, and welcome to my review of Horn Ellipt IQ, which is a plugin for helping managing bass and phase and anti-phase. So the easiest way to understand what this plugin does is to see it used in an example. Now this example is particularly contrived, I've deliberately set it up, but this kind of thing happens all the time in terms of mixes, especially when you're doing things, for example, like dual tracking guitars, etc. So what I've got is I've got a a simple sort of bass sort of loop that I've created with Sublab that sounds something like this. And then I deliberately added a plugin to apply widening to this. And I deliberately also set the mono frequency to be extremely low so that it widens pretty much all the way down. So with the widening. Okay, you might think, okay, well, what's wrong with that? Let's pull up trusty turn meters goniometer. So let's see what happens when we play it. So you may have noticed that the correlation in some of those low frequencies was dipping below the zero line, which is not good. That's what's known as antiphase, and that is definitely an issue. And you could also notice that all of a sudden, the very, very lowest end, it all of a sudden just went straight up to one, and that's obviously the mono making at 20, 20 kilohertz taking effect from the widening plugin. Obviously, we could alter this by changing the widening plugin, but that's not the idea here. The idea here is to see what an ellipt IQ does and how it can help us. So let's add that. So the default settings, it's actually not going to do anything. So let me explain a little bit what these controls are about. The frequency control is a control of, okay, what frequency is it going to operate up until, up until? So it's gonna it's an upper bound on the on the frequency that it's going to be working with. You've got a slope, which is basically how once you start getting to about three hundred hertz, how fast does it stop working on on things? So the steeper the slope, the faster it sort of falls off after three hundred hertz. You've got the width control. Now this is this is the key one. This controls how wide the signal is in that zero to 300 hertz range after the plugin has done its job, which is why it's not doing anything at the moment because it's retaining 100% of the width. Whereas if you say reduce it to 50%, it's only going to be 50% as wide. Finally, you've got an auto control, which as you can see that, that grays out the width and that will somewhat intelligently decide on how, how much to cut it. And as you can see that it's also got its own correlation meter, which is handy, but the one in the tone boosters goniometer is better. So hence I've got that on too. Bring that up so we can still see the correlation there. Start playback. So if I start pulling that width down, not seeing those dips below the line anymore. And 
if we increase the frequency. It's not going to dip below the line so much up there either. So what if we put that double click it back to 300? What happens if we turn auto on? So auto is definitely keeping it almost completely in mono and that area just by what it's doing. And the other thing is, well, you may be thinking, oh, why? Why can't I do this just with a EQ myself? And you could, but you have to be a little bit careful about how you do it. If you do it with just a low pass filter uh, in a normal sort of EQ, then you can cause phase issues by doing that. This is actually doing it via a, a shelf, which is apparently better in terms of the phase. And as you can see by the goniometer, it definitely is doing the right thing by phase. And what do I think of this plugin? Well, I think that it's... It works really well. It's fairly much a case of you see the issue on the on, with phase, you adjust it to fix it, either auto or or manual, whatever you prefer. Does the job. It's simple and it's inexpensive for what it is. As I said before, if I was going to nitpick, the only thing I'd like would be a a display for the correlation. That's a bit that's more of a continuous one like the one on the tone boosters goniometer but that's a very small nitpick in the scheme of things so that's been uh, my first paid plugin review let me know what you think let me know if you, there's any other paid plugins you want me to review and i'll see you in the next video